Hi everyone, it's Sasha, aka Your Frugal Friend, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Jasper to write a blog post to promote your printable content um, in a blog post on your blog so that you can sell or uh, your digital product, give it away as a freebie, or direct traffic to your Etsy shop. So that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so I've logged into Jasper. I've gone to my dashboard. It automatically takes you to your dashboard. And I'm gonna to go to create new content. I'm gonna to go to new blog post. And so when you're creating, I, I like to use the one shot blog post because it'll create like a 750 word blog post to help you get started with um, blogging. So then I go, how to create digital stickers. Well, this is going to be uh, uh, summer game bundle, summer activity bundle. So then I'm gonna to go to, to Google. I type in summer game and I like to look at what uh, what is automatically generated to get an idea for a blog post name because this is what people are typing into Google. So this means that you'll get traffic by using um, SEO optimized long tail keywords like this. So summer games for kids. So my blog topic is going to be, um, you know, five summer games for kids. The tone of the voice is going to be, you can look at the brand, the tone of the voice. It can be creative, polite, friendly. So I'm going to say friendly because this is just going to be an informal blog post. Um, my audience, intended audience are moms. Okay, so then generate. It takes a minute to generate. It's creating the most amazing blog post for me to be the top dog on Google search rank. <laughs> okay, so it gives you an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. So you have, you know, it's summertime, the perfect time for kids to enjoy the great outdoors, soak up the sun as moms. We want to make sure our children stay physically inactive and have fun at the same time. And how, when we, how do we come entertained when it's so hot outside? Here are five summer games your kids will love. And so you want to make sure that you are, um, that it makes sense for what you're doing. So you can have, if you're just trying to sell like a printable, um, so you can say, you know, uh, keep them inside. But I also want to be able to put my printable in here. So I'm going to go to, I'll copy this, open in docs, because I want to add my own thing to this. And this is where you can edit it. So here we have the, I, I mean, I don't want the blog body. I'm going to change that to be a header that's optimized for, for SEO. So I'm going to say it's summertime. And as a blogger, you know, you don't want to, you don't want, you want it to be easy to read. So one to two sentences per paragraph. Um, and so in this post, I like to just go ahead and edit it. So we have water balloon toss, frozen t-shirt race, watermelon spinning contest, DIY sprinkler, slip and slide. So I'm going to do, and so slip and slide, I want to say, um, printable games. And I'm going to say a great way to keep the kids entertained when indoors is to play games that you print at home. You can find a great, oh wait, I would say, you know, games to play are summer trivia, um, charades, and many others. In the game bundle below, you will find five amazing games for kids of all ages. So that's me trying to put my printable in there for them to grab. And you can say, you know, grab for free or they can click to it and go to like your Shopify or your Etsy shop or wherever you sell your products. And they can also put an image of it here of a game bundle. And then so say, instead of conclusion, I'll write like final thoughts. And then you can do this and make it and then slip and slide and get rid of that. Or fun printable games. All right, awesome. Okay, so now we wanna um, make sure that this is SEO optimized 
So instead of like blog body, you want to get a header. So this is how I do it. So summer games for kids. And then where I get the headers is from the people also ask. So what games play in summer? What games are seven-year-olds playing? This could be a header within your blog post that's SEO optimized. So what games do children play outdoors? What games to play with five-year-olds? So these are all things that people are looking for. So you can say, you know, it could be, uh, you know, whatever you want. And then also here, related searches here. Summer games play outside. So you could you could break up this blog post um, and put, you know, summer games to play outside. And it could be this list of games. And then you can say, you know, summer games to play indoors. And you could say printable games and it could you could have that printable game there. And then you could say, you know, coloring, um, coloring pages and add another paragraph here of coloring pages and maybe you have a coloring page product or, or you're an affiliate for one, you can promote it there. So that's what I like to do is I like to make sure I'm SEO optimizing the post with headers from the related searches that people are actually searching for on Google because that's how you can optimize your, your blog post for printables. So, and then this also can give you games or product ideas for printables itself to, and blog post ideas. So outdoor summer games for large groups. Maybe you have a game bundle for like a family reunion and you write a blog post about um, best summer games for large groups. And it could be these physical product or physical tangible games and you can promote a um, Amazon affiliate link and then like ring toss or something or cornhole or any of those outdoor games. And then you can also and get affiliate income that way. And then you can also go ahead and put your printable or digital products here for indoor games for big groups. It's like so scorchingly hot or you go, you're on a camping trip and it's raining, stuff like that. So that's how I optimize these posts to make sure that I'm um, creating a, a blog post that's SEO optimized and I help have Jasper help me to get it, you know, like 75 to 90% done for me. And then I take it across the finish line by SEO optimizing it, making sure the formatting is good for WordPress. That's where I have my, my website hosted. And then I go ahead and I, exp I copy it, paste it in the Word WordPress, it's usually all formatted for me and it's super easy. So this is how I create a, uh, a, an AI generated blog post using Jasper.